You're watching The Real Fishing Show with Bob Azumi. Oops. Sorry. He spit it at you, Bob. I think, I think that hook almost pierced my ear. He spit it at you. I felt the hook just right on the earlobe. Coming up. Old Spring Hill Plantation lies just outside the town of Eufaula, Alabama. It's a former cotton plantation that has been transformed into a sportsman's paradise. Guests can hunt for quail, deer, pheasant or turkey, or practice their shot with skeets. There are also four small lakes that are full of largemouth bass. That's what attracted Bob. Whoa, woo -wee. On today's show, he fishes with James Buchanan, a tournament pro from Alabama. They spend the day fishing on one of the lakes at Old Spring Hill and they catch so many bass that they soon lose count. If we found ourselves in a honey hole. <laughs> Here comes... Can you oh. see the size Could be a world record. <laughs> you got to love it. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. man. Way to size that one. Oh, there you got it. Yeah. That is so cool. Oh, yeah. That is a monster. The Real Fishing Show with Bob Azumi. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool. Oh, oh, oh. oh I got one! A Slavosaurus! <laughs> yeah! Okay. Oh. Man, that's a good fish. Oh, yeah, a good one. Whoa! Here he comes! Yeah! yeah. Wow, <laughs> look at that! This is what? Don't be sick. This is all up all right there. 16 pounds. Now look at there. Real fishing is sponsored by. Chevy Trucks, Ontario, more to discover, and Tim Hortons. Hey folks, that's what I call real fishing. Putting the finishing touches on here. Hey folks, glad you could join us. You know, I'm here with an old friend, well, I should say new friend, old friend, James Buchanan from... Alabama. Hey, James, you know, we met back in 2001 at the M1 tournament down in Mobile, Alabama. And back then, I said, hey, you should come smallmouth fishing with me. And, uh, you know, we never talked. Here it is four years later. All of a sudden, we're finally together fishing, but we're not fishing smallmouth. <laughs> Absolutely, but we're still doing a great kind of fishing that I enjoy, and that's largemouth fishing. All right, and we're not up north. We're in Alabama at Old Spring Hill Plantation, and James just came from a tournament, so he's red hot. We're going to see what happens here. The weather's nice. We left, literally, here it is May. We left snow and sleet in Ontario. It's abnormally rude weather to come down here, and here it is. We're... we're Nice and warm. I like this. Uh, we've been averaging here in this month alone right around mid-70s, low 80s. So well, fish are hot. How do you like this? I'm going to guarantee you fish today or you get your money back. Man, I can't pass up a deal like that. <laughs> <laughs> and have fun at it, too, whether I catch you in or not. <laughs> right. I fish slow if I have to, but I know right now we are in a place that's got some stupid <laughs> I like that tackle bag too. Well, your times are tough. <laughs> when you're a fishing show host. Hey, there we go. <laughs> well, did we? <laughs> That seems like a pretty good one there, Bob. Oh, it's more of a runner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got him off. <laughs> you know what? I would bet that was a little bigger fish. That was a bigger fish, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I tell that rod would be over. And you know what? <laughs> I, I couldn't really lift it. It was just smoking sideways. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Here's another one. <laughs> oh, this one here I can move, though. Yeah, this yeah he's one, small. Yeah, this is a baby. Isn't that the way it goes, though? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that last one. Oh, this one doesn't count. That last one had, had little shoulders to it. Yeah. I shouldn't have been so nonchalant, but, you know, hey, 
We're out here to have fun. We're not in a tournament. <laughs> That's for sure. I don't get nailed because of an opportunity just to have fun with you anyway. No, you know, and this is a great... from tournament to tournament. <laughs> Great. You know, I, I got a feeling this grades out right here. I'm just looking at the depth finder. Five feet at the tail end of the boat. Well, we found, we found the babies. Where are the granddaddies and grandmas? Nope, fell. Well. Good thing is you can practice that the hook this uh this flight here. Oops. I'm not even gonna allow that one to be on TV. I heard that, please don't. So far I got longer today. <laughs> yeah. I was on Lake Ferguson, they got all these sunken barges. I fished down the side of one of them and I caught a three pounder on a jig, then I turned around. Fished down the other side and caught another three pounder. The first one I caught was blind in the right eye. The second one I caught was blind in the left eye. You know why? Why? Because they were sitting up against alongside that, that barge and they never used that eye that was closest to the barge. So it went dead. <laughs> I, it took me a little while to figure it out. Man, I said, man, these sons of guys, one dead in the, in the right and the other one dead in the left. At least we're going to smell like fish when we go back anyway. Mm -hmm. Without a doubt, call your shots on these little ones. Now, where are the big guys? There's got to be a big one on one of these stick out. They here. They, they just aren't mine. No, oh, he's still small. Stay tuned for more largemouth bass from Old Spring Hill. Finally got a two pounder. <laughs> Chevrolet. When you're the number one selling brand in Canada, you rock the nation. With more power, more fuel efficiency, more dependability, and more utility. Plus, get the Silverado Special Edition crew, now with $1,000 worth of extras on us. The Rock the Nation event is back and rocking. Coleman promised. Coleman promised to light my way. Coleman has been making reliable lanterns for over 100 years. Coleman promised me shelter from the storm. Only Coleman makes tents with a weather tech system to keep you dry, guaranteed. Coleman promised to get me through the night. The double lock valve guarantees our beds won't leak. Coleman promised to keep things cool. The extreme cooler that keeps ice for five days in temperatures up to 32 degrees Celsius. That's cool. Coleman promised. At Coleman, we keep our promises for the past 100 years and the next. Old Spring Hill is located in Eufaula, Alabama. This traditional southern plantation has everything a sportsman could ask for. Mule-drawn buggies will take you out to hunt for quail, or you can hunt for deer, pheasant, or turkey. They supply everything for the hunt, or you can bring your own. If fishing's your game, there's no lack of big, large most bass. In fact, many bass over 10 pounds have been caught in the four lakes on the plantation. Top it all off with great accommodations and warm southern hospitality, and you've got one of my favorite bass fishing destinations. Yeah, I've been in tournaments, you know, and everything looks the same. Uh -huh. The first thing I started doing was looking for something a little bit different. Yeah, absolutely. And something. then when you start keying on those little differences, sometimes that'll turn into a pretty darn good pattern. Yeah, and you always, yeah. Yeah, and then you always try to think outside the box. That you hope that you're thinking like totally different than anybody else. Exactly. And then you come in, you find out there were 20 people thinking just like you. I know, it bothers me. <laughs> we went to fish this lake, and uh, the water was down terribly, right? And um, there was one of the city officials there at the at the uh, pairing. She said, uh, "You know, guys." She says, I'm, I'm sorry that the water's down so low and can't get to cert, certain portions of the lake. She says, but that ought to make it really easy. Uh -oh. That ought to make it really easy for you to hem them up. They don't have much water to swim in. Like I said, fish are so stupid, they don't even know what a boat dock is here. <laughs> The 
whole tree. I'll bring it in so you can flip it. Get it close. Get it close. There's a big one in there. I can yank it right out. There it's it is. Hey, I gotta see that. That's a huge blue geese. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's a huge blue geese. That's the only fish tonight I really wanted to have a good look at before you threw it back. I wasn't trying to throw it back. I was going to take it off. <laughs> that was a big one. Yeah. Well, that's what those brim were all about. That thing was like pan size. Yeah. And they're good eating, too. Uh, that was the hardest fighting fish you had today. No doubt. I thought it was a bigger bass. <laughs> Got to deal with any of my guests. If I hook them past the bar, you get to keep the lure. I thought I had a, a weed on there. <laughs> Guess we found ourselves a honey hole. <laughs> Thank you. Come on here. <laughs> I don't think you got enough hooks out of them. <laughs> Getting bigger by the millimeter. There was one in there. Yeah. See, there would be. A dark tail happening here. You sitting with a tail underneath the tree. Yeah. Ooh. I thought that was a real good fish there. He's a little bit better fish. Yeah. Not much, but a little bit. Somewhere there's some relatives of these fish out there. They're just looking at us and laughing today. Oh, there we go. Aha. Uh -huh. That's a little bit better All fish right. there. Yeah, that's a good one there. Yeah. You may want to back off of this a little bit. Yeah, I just hit the trolling motor here. Whoa. Finally got a two-pounder. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's time to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> just back us out of here a bit. We're jerking them out of there. <laughs> what are you using? I'm using a, a yum suey. If I can catch this fish. Oh, you caught it. You're catching it twice. That's no fair. <laughs> All right. That one's fat, too. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's a start. It is a start. You know, we've been catching a lot of little fish so far today. And just working down the shoreline and waiting for a good one and... I think this time of year, James, though, you know, you really, some of the fish are finished spawning, a few of them haven't spawned yet, and a lot of it is around, what, this full moon period? Absolutely. I got a bite there. You want a bite? Yeah, a little small, still small. So now that we've made a few excuses on how come we haven't got any big fish, we better tell the folks, stay tuned, we'll be right back with some more real fishing after this. <laughs> Up next, Bob and James do a little footwork. Guess you gotta watch you don't step in the fire ant deal, huh? Exactly. You'll be doing the From where? fire ant dance. There's something new at the top of the food chain. The world's first supercharged four-stroke upboard. And the only power system of its kind anywhere. The revolutionary Mercury Verado. From whole shop to top end, it delivers unmatched power and acceleration. All in the quietest outboard ever built. See why all other outboards are history. Mercury Verado. Take charge. Bomber. Take a look 
Down Under with this week's Fish Eye View. Sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water. Largemouth bass are listed as the number one game fish in North America. It's a claim difficult to dispute. Indeed, huge industries from boats to tackle are supported by this one species of fish. In their native range east of the Rockies are two distinct populations, loosely referred to as northern and southern bass. Though transplanted worldwide, the southern strain is often called Florida largemouth, though its original range extends further north to Georgia. Beyond that, we find the fish most of us are familiar with. Besides subtle differences in markings, our bass are noticeably smaller. At the same age, northern largemouth average half the size. While genetics play a part, growing seasons are to blame. Both strains require 70 or more degrees for optimum activity and growth. In Canada, that's five months at best, compared to year-round in Florida. This means that a five-pound northern bass is equivalent to a 10-pounder down south. As such, they're equally intelligent and difficult to catch. Apart from these differences, largemouth are largemouth wherever you find them. They prefer the same habit of weeds, lily pads, or other types of heavy cover. When it comes to tackle and technique, anything that will take fish in Florida, Cuba, or Mexico will work equally well in Canada. Okay. Well, James, we're going to try another place here, are we? No, absolutely. Well, let's fish from the shore and see if we can catch one first. Should we go right or left? Which way is the easiest way to get to the... Well, there's a tree what? right here that looks like it might have a fish in it. Whoa! Oh. Oh, that's, that's a good little old fish, eh? <laughs> oh, baby! <laughs> First cast! All right. Yeah, he's right there relating to those pads. Yeah. Mr. Yumdinger. <laughs> I just missed one right there. I guess you got to watch you don't step in those fire ant deal, huh? Exactly. You'll be doing the I'm wearing... fire ant dance. Uh-oh. <laughs> I, think there's, I think there's some fish in this lake here. Yep, I think so too. <laughs> Just a little bit bigger than mine, isn't it? No, no, uh, they're pretty close. We're not going to win Lunker. <laughs> We're not going to win Big Fish Award the next tournament with them, but. I can. <laughs> See that this place is slightly loaded with fish. Mm-hmm. And they're hungry. Let's see what's down the way here. Let's see if we can catch one on either side of this log here. Alright. Okay. <laughs> for the pliers. Right there. Oh, I got one. I saw him come up and get it. <laughs> Step Aha. up there and get him off of it. Get him off from underneath it. Better one. All right, nice one. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> a little bit better. Yeah, you called it. Would you say there should be a bigger one off the end? <laughs> off the end of that, a little bit deeper. <laughs> Spot of what? He's skinny. Ooh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just spun up. Yeah. <laughs> He's been working out. <laughs> <laughs> Pumping iron. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this one here isn't old enough to pump iron. <laughs> That's usually the size of fish, James. I don't know why I caught it. <laughs> Still to come, Bob and James head back out on the water. Hey, hey. <laughs> there is a place where people still care about real quality and innovation. Where ideas aren't limited to an eight-hour clock. 
Performance is measured by your total satisfaction, and attention to detail is a celebrated way of life. Welcome to the Ranger family. Real people, real commitments, and boats that are literally legendary. Izumi. After a day fishing, there's nothing like spending time enjoying a beautiful summer evening with my family and friends. And I won't let mosquitoes stop us from enjoying the fun. That's why I trust New Off Mosquito Lamp. The Off Mosquito Lamp uses a unique heat-activated pad that kills mosquitoes on an average-sized patio. I've always trusted Off to protect me when I'm fishing. Now Off gives me the protection I need for outdoor entertaining, too. Off is effective protection you can trust. You're watching The Real Fishing Show with Bob Azumi. This tip of the week is sponsored by Coleman. Hey, we've got a beautiful day out and, well, what can I say? I'm incognito. What do you think? Is it an improvement over my face? I'll tell you, these are pretty cool, and that's what I'm going to talk about on today's tip are some new items. These are the fish heads, and uh, these are protection masks that you can wear, say, on a cold day, or if it's pouring rain or hail, you can run down the lake, whether you're tournament fishing or fun fishing, 50, 60, 70 mile an hour, and that rain won't hit you like it's bullets. And the cool thing is it comes in a variety of sizes and colors. Now, there's another product out too, and this is a, a pretty unique product. This is a big power pack here for marine use or RV use. It's got running lights built in if you've got a smaller boat. It's also got the battery built into it, a compressor, and jumper cables. So if you uh, got a dead battery out on the boat or out in the water, you can just give it a boost with this. In the front of this boat, I've got something fairly new to it. It's called a control post. This is a seat or a leaning device that you can lean on. With the control post, I don't get too comfortable, so I miss any of those strikes and I get a good hook set. Hey, folks, these are just a few new things available. Try them out. I think you'd be glad you did. Yeah. <laughs> well, we decided to come on board this boat. And James, you being in the Navy for 27 years, what do you think of our watercraft? Well, Bob, I'll tell you what. As you see, I got my life jacket on, right? You have yours on. <laughs> it's not a Ranger. Even, even if it sinks, I think we'll survive. <laughs> All the safety precautions have been taken. Felt bigger than he was. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try one of those. Oh, yeah, talk really nice to me. <laughs> <laughs> See, Bob brought all the bass. He wouldn't let me bring mine. I had to use all of his, and now he's rationing. <laughs> I think it was about nine. <laughs> I don't, I don't have any nine inches to, to compare it to. <laughs> King gummy. Even over the boat. Thank you for the bluegill. <laughs> oh, nice one. Yeah. Now yeah, show the viewers oh, what a big old brim looks like down That's here. That's one right there. Yeah, that's that's a popular fish down through the south, isn't it? Well, it is. It is. And uh, they're good eating, too. Real good eating. That's that's a better than average bluegill right there. Yeah. A 
say something, James, but I don't know what to say. <laughs> A little bit better fish, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Whoa. Yes, sir. Ba that's a decent one. Baby. Man. Come on in here. He's going under the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All that's, right. That's a real good fish there. All right. You got uh, him or you need some help? You want to grab him? <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah, that's good, good fish. Stuff. All right. <laughs> hey. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's what we're looking for right there. Aren't we? <laughs> fish yeah. go over four pounds, you think? Yeah. Easy. I no doubt in my mind he'll be around four. All right. Well, James and I didn't catch a big one, but we still had a great time catching all of those fish. The next day I fished at Old Spring Hill with tournament pro Laura Aldridge, and guess what? The big one's bit. Not quite as big as the 10-pounder I caught the previous year, but I can't complain. See you next week right here for some more real fishing. <laughs> you start to celebrate! <laughs> Is a fish of a lifetime. Whoa! <laughs> well, that is just amazing. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah! Wow. That was too cool. Oh, 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 oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah!